Good morning, everybody. Welcome to our weekly Onag Shabbat here at Gerwin. This week, we begin a new chapter in the Torah reading, the book of Shemos, the book of Exodus. And just like the Jewish people had an exodus thousands of years ago from the terrible land of Egypt, so to all of us who are awaiting the day, we have an exodus ourselves from this pandemic, and we can all get on with our lives. And the day is getting closer and closer, as on this coming Monday, many of you, and many as well as many of the staff, myself included, will be getting our second dose of the vaccine, which will hopefully grant us protection from this terrible disease. Shalom Aleichem, Malachi Ashur, Reis Malachi Elyon, Mihi Melech, Malachi Amlochim, Akadosh Baruchu. Shalom Aleichem, Malachi Ashur, Reis Malachi Elyon, Mihi melech malchay amlochim akadosh baruchu. Shalom aleichem malachay ashur eis malachay elyon. Mihi melech malchay amlochim akadosh baruchu. Bochem le shalom alochei ha-shalom alochei ha-elyon Mihi melech malchei amlochim ha-kodosh baruchu Bochem le shalom alochei ha-shalom alochei ha-elyon Mihi melech malchei amlochim ha-kodosh baruchu Boachem l'shalom, alochei ha-shalom, alochei ha-elyon. Mihi melech malchei amlochim ha-kodosh baruchu. Baruchuni l'shalom, alochei ha-shalom, alochei ha-elyon. Mihi melech malchei amlochim ha-kodosh baruchu. Baruch Hu Shalom Alochei HaShalom Alochei HaElyon Mihi Melech Malchei Amlochim HaKadosh Baruch Hu Seizchem L'Shalom Alochei HaShalom Alochei HaElyon Mihi Melech Malchei Amlochim HaKadosh Baruch Hu Seizchem l'shalom, alochei ha-shalom, alochei ha-elyon. Mihi melech malchei amlochim ha-kadosh baruch hu. Seizchem l'shalom, alochei ha-shalom, alochei ha-elyon. Mihi melech malchei amlochim ha-kadosh baruch hu. Seizchem l'shalom, alochei ha-shalom, alochei ha-elyon. Mihi melech malchei amlochim ha-kadosh baruch hu. In the beginning of this week's Torah portion, we are introduced to our leader, the Jewish leader, Moshe Rabbeinu Moses, who is the leader. And the story of Moses is quite interesting, as we know at the time, the Egyptians, Pharaoh, the evil king Pharaoh, decided to put a decree against the Jewish people that any boy that would be born should be thrown into the river. And it was because it was his understanding, his astrologers had told him that there's going to be a Jewish savior, a Jewish boy who's going to save the Jewish people from the slavery in Egypt. Now the Jews had been slaves in Egypt for over 200 years at the time. And although it originally did not start out as slavery, it started out as the Jewish people living hand in hand with the Egyptians over time. The Egyptians were able to enslave them and forced upon them bitter work. And the Pharaoh, which was the, and Egypt, which was a superpower country at the time, were concerned through their astrology that the Jewish Savior would come. So they went ahead and they decided to go ahead and kill all the Jewish boys that would be born. Moshe and Moses' parents realized this terrible decree and they took Moses, Moses, who was just three months old at the time, they put him in a basket and sent him down the Nile River. And lo and behold, Pharaoh's daughter herself, Batya, saw this little boy in this basket and she saved him and she actually raised Moshe Moses in Pharaoh's palace himself nurturing him until he understood later he was 20 years old and knew what he had to do to save the Jewish people 
And it's very interesting to note that sometimes we feel we have a plan. Pharaoh's plan was to destroy the Jewish people, and yet the savior of the Jewish people was raised right under his nose by his own daughter himself. And one of the lessons we learn from this is that we should never give up. Sometimes the salvation is right there, even in the darkest times, even when we think there's no hope, the salvation could be right where it is, even, and we don't even realize. And the Jewish people, after so many years, they're about to give up hope, and they cry out, they pray to Hashem that salvation should come. And as Moshe Rabbeinu, Moses grows older, he leaves Pharaoh's palace, and he goes and he finally works on himself, and he finally meets up with God, God of the Jewish people, Hashem speaks to Moshe for the first time. And though Moshe is astounded and startled by the revelation of God, he asked God one important thing. He said, I'll go to the Jewish people and tell them that you will save them, but what's your name? How should I relate to them? Don't you have a name? Everyone has a name. What is your name, God? How could I go ahead and tell the Jewish people that their God will save them? They don't know what your name is. And God answers, my name is that I will be with them. That's my name. I will be with them now, and I will be with them in the future. And although this doesn't really sound like a name, I will be with you, it's more of a characteristic trait, but that is the entire point that God, Hashem, is telling Moshe to relate to the Jewish people. It doesn't really matter what my physical name is. It doesn't matter what our physical name is. It matters what we do with our name. It matters what we do with ourselves and our lives. And my name could be one thing, but if I don't live up to my name, I don't act on who I really am, it doesn't really matter what my name is. But if I live my life of action to help others whenever I can, then my actual physical name is not that important. And that's what the message that Moshe Rabbeinu said to the Jewish people, there's a God out there who cares about you, will always care about you, and will finally take you out of the slavery and save you. And that's the most important thing you have to know about the Jewish God. So to here in Gerwin, we pray for salvation, we pray for all, for health, for everyone in the world. And we know that God is with us always, whether or not we see Him or whether or not we don't. Ultimately, we know he is with there. He he's with us. He has been with us, and he will always be with us. Lo ye ye besifara veho echa vien cheni. Bam shila le hach vira veli reishis veli sachles. Velo ha o veha misra veho keli vechai goali. Vesra kevli vies nasa veho nisi umanosli. Minas kosi biyom ekra biyahado avkid ruchi. 
Vyaisishan Vyayihira Vyemruchi Gaviyasi Adav Shem Livilo Ihra. I wish you have a happy and healthy Shabbat and a great weekend. We'll see everybody next week.